Hello everyone, this is Joe Nathan, and I wanted to make a follow-up video to answer some of the questions that have been coming in regarding my setup in particular. Uh, I also wanted to kind of give some more impressions regarding my experience here with Ice Cream Sandwich on the touchpad after running it here for, I guess, about a week. So, I guess first things first, I've had a few questions about the clock that I have here is the clock in the weather and this is uh, a widget called beautiful widgets it is the beautiful super clock 4x2 and I'll show you it in the market yeah and here it is and you can't see the price because I've already purchased it but this is definitely it's not a free app cost about two to three maybe four dollars but I definitely would say that it's worth it it's very customizable I'll show you here and it does you can get a forecast five-day court forecast and it comes with a bunch of bunch of different widgets but if we come here to clock skins and come over here to standard and you can basically come through here and there are I'd say maybe around a thousand different skins in here if not there's not a thousand there's several hundred in here for certain and the skin that I'm using is called Mui black white minimal or I'm not sure if that's if you pronounce that Mui or if it's M-I-U-I I don't know but that's the skin I'm using there and let's see also for settings parents and um, I have the background transparency set to to 100% transparent there and I think that's kind of that's kind of the, the majority of it there I'm also using the um, you can arrange how you want it to look here I think the default is that guy there but I have it set to this guy here so, in any case, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of ways you can customize this and, and set it up. So that's that. The other widgets I have here, this is, this is the color note widget. And this is really cool. You can basically take and make notes and put these little sticky notes on your, your home screen. And it ha they have a one-by-one -one widget and a two-by-two -two widget. They also have this, this kind of calendar type, type thing that you can use, too, for notifications and, and the like and I'll show you here so you can kind of see that's the color note you can find that in the market it's free and uh, these are the Pulse News widgets and Pulse is a really cool app if you're not familiar with it it allows you to add different sources for news and curate them all into one place and you can each column is a different source and you can scroll through the different columns and it makes it very convenient to, to keep up with news and all of that really nice interface and so those are widgets from from that app the next thing that I get a lot of questions about are about this this wallpaper switching here that you see happening this would be controlled by a application called multi-picture live wallpaper and I'll show you that here in the market yeah I have the donate version installed because I think it was only a dollar and I bought it because I wanted to support the developers but the free version has all of the features of the donate version so you're not missing anything if you go with the free version and so you can download that and I'll show you how to set it up or how I set it up come here and we hit settings and I had to set up 10 screens uh, my first screen started on screen 6 and I, I'm not sure why that is that might just be something particular to my setup but it might be something with this app and ice cream sandwich or I don't really know but I had to set up 10 screens in order to to get uh, to get this to, to show up correctly so basically you can you can you can have a common common settings and basically just have you know just set everything up for all the screens just in one place 
or you can set individual settings for each screen and the way that I've chosen to do it is have individual settings for each screen and what I have is a folder assigned to each screen and each folder has a different theme and a different type type of pictures in it and so it'll rotate it'll rotate through those different pictures and I have mine set to picture change interval every hour to rotate through the pictures or I can just double tap, tap and get it to to change the pictures but what you're going to want to do is, is it, it's not going to show up correctly unless you take the transition type and set that to none if you don't do that the transitions don't work properly and, and it kind of they kind of get stuck and the next thing you're going to want to do is the workaround for some home applications you're going to make sure that's set to none and as long as you've done that you'll be good to go and you'll have something like this here and it really adds to the to the whole look and the fill in the tablet gives you more of a I think it's a much, much more of a premium fill and it makes all of the the iPad owners jealous and let me see what else can I show you here Are there any other widgets here well I like really like the Google Voice if you don't if you're not familiar with Google Voice it allows you to send text messages uh, for free and voice messages and things like that there's also the Evernote, if you're not familiar with Evernote. It's a really, really cool note-taking note -taking application. And what is it? The performance, I really like the performance of the tablet. It runs really good here with Ice Cream Sandwich. I'll show you here. This is, this is Sonic the Hedgehog 4. And I'll just kind of show you the performance here a bit. There's a lot of games that I have on here that I really like. This, let me turn this down here a bit for you but I just kind of show you the performance because it, it runs it runs really well yeah this get this game itself isn't so great it's not it's nowhere near as good as say Sonic Generations Sonic Generations is really great hope it'll uh, hope they'll eventually make an Android port, port for it Okay, so one of my other favorite features of Ice Cream Sandwich is the notification area here. This is it's a night and day difference from from gingerbread using gingerbread on a tablet. But in any case, here we are. But yeah, as you can see, it doesn't it doesn't skip a beat here. Performance is is wonderful. So. Yeah, performance is great. There's a lot of really cool games that you can get that will that the touchpad will handle really well. The Humble Bundle, Indie Bundle, the games that was just released here not too long ago, and I got all of those apps in there. Those games are really fun, and that's still available. You should pick that up. And let me see. Also, I had a question about overclocking, and I'll show you. The app I use to overclock is called CPU Master, and that is here. And I have this overclocked to 1.6 gigahertz. I, I can take it up higher, but um, I haven't really seen a need to. And I don't really see a need necessarily overclock it at all. It hasn't, even at the stock speeds, it hasn't given me any issues with any slowdown or anything like that. And I think that's, I think that's the majority of the questions. I'm just going to kind of look through here and see if there's anything else I can recommend to you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, I do know what I want to recommend. There is the Samba file sharing. This is this is really really cool. It uses the SMB protocol, the uh, protocol developed by Microsoft. It's used in Windows. Basically, it's for file sharing, network file sharing, and it allows you to access your internal storage. You know, on your your Android device, it allows you to access that on your computer, where just over the network. And so, it's really cool for being able to grab files or put files on the touchpad without having to to connect it up to the computer and I also have this installed on my phone and and other Android devices so this is really cool and try to see if there's anything else here really quick before I say goodbye you know I think that's I think that's about the majority of it um, oh yeah matter of fact well, like one more thing there is the keyboard I've had questions about I've had questions about the keyboard and 
that I use, and I'll show you my keyboard here. So I have the split keyboard. This is called the thumb keyboard, and I really, really like it. it I can type really fast with it. But um, can type really fast with it, very accurately. And I don't. And the best thing is you don't have to reach your your fingers to the middle of the screen to try to re reach characters. And that's a paid app too. You can find it in the market. And I think it's it's about two dollars. I think or so. It's not it's not very expensive, but it's, it's definitely worth it. I'd say get it and at least get it and try it out. You know, you have 15 minutes to to be able to return it if you don't like it. But it's a it's a really cool little app. So, and I think that's about it. So if you have any other questions or anything like that, just feel free to post a comment in the comment section, and I will do my best to to answer your questions. So, till next time, take care.